Uh, that's a you know the, another solid win for our group. I thought uh, first period was solid. There was a stretch in the second period. Came out in the second period and could have stretched the lead to three or four. Uh, and then there was a ten minute stretch in the second period where UNH you know turned the game on us. They got a lucky hop out of the offensive zone led to the breakaway, and then uh, five on three. So outside of that, I thought we were we we're very good. Uh, you guys will always love to tell me what the shots were, so I'll tell you that we outshot them tonight, 34 to 20. Uh, we outshot the last team, 42 to 21. So just so I know it's your favorite question, so I'll just answer it right now. <clears throat> um, but you uh, know, UNH can they can hurt you. They they are a good offensive team. I'm very concerned about them on the power play and uh, in transition tonight. I thought we gave them a little too much uh, in transition, uh, but Matt Murray. Played a solid game as usual, and uh, power play was uh, very good as usual. And it looks like the usual suspects uh, scoring our goals: uh, Chafee, Pritchard, Leonard, uh, all had very good nights. You just mentioned it for the power play. What was working for them going three for three early on? Uh, a little puck luck. You know, we got the puck to the net, and uh, if I remember correctly, I think all three were kind of bouncing around in front of the net and ba able to bang them in. So, uh, but. Uh, the first, I remember the, the first goal in particular. Uh, we score that because we we retrieve the puck. You know, we make a play at the net, good retrieval, get it back and, and get it to the net. And the second one, Pritch does a great job taking it to the net and doing the, the turnaround to create the uh, basically empty net goal. I think for, for Leno. You mentioned like kind of the mainstay guys uh, scoring on the power play. When you acquired him in the summer, Pritchard, that is, like, did you think he'd have this much of an impact on that group? Yes. Sunday said it was uh, uh, the biggest focus for you guys and to have him come in and uh, kind of just stay consistent like that. Are you happy to have that he's come in and turned out that way? Yes. Well, Jeff, the power penalty <clears throat> that led to their scoring, it seemed a little ragged for a few minutes and then one of them had a great play coming down the left side. Yeah. It just seemed to change the whole game again. Yeah, we needed that. Um, Things get got a little sideways there. You get a bad hop. The puck jumps over Chukarov's stick. They get the breakaway, and then they call Kale for an elbow. Hits him with his shoulder. So you know, in the game, things are going to add up at times against you. And it took us a little while to 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 you know get the game back under control. But Leonard, you know, he's he's one of the guys in our team that has the ability to just single handedly change the game and change the, change momentum. And elbows yeah, I'm not allowed to comment on it. But, okay. Yeah. The clip of that is there was a piece in the New York Times today by Ken Dryden saying that your brain doesn't care whether you get hit during a fight, during a, a battle in a corner, in front of the crease, the brain doesn't make a differentiation on that. So I know that we did get that violent major toward the end of the game, but there were many headshots I thought in front of the UNH goal after the whistle. One in particular against Pritchard. No call. Yeah. I can't comment on those. I, I get in trouble when I do that. Yeah. Uh, scored the first goal again tonight and two goals in the first period. Is it almost uh, expected, or do you almost expect to start game strong at this point? We want to. That's that's the plan. It's really important to score the first goal. Uh, if you can get the first two, usually things work out for you. Good percentage of the time. Uh, but I, I just think. Uh, our, our guys came out ready to play tonight. It's always a concern on a Sunday afternoon. What exactly? You're not used to those kind of games, and obviously our opponent wasn't either. But um, I was a little concerned how we were going to come out. As usual, we, we were pretty solid. I think Matt's play and Matt's which has improved over the last season. You think it's mostly just improved confidence or improved speed, or what do you think's made the biggest difference? Murray. What do you think? Matt, Matt Murray, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he's got a good team in front of him that uh, tonight, most of the chances, other than their goal was a breakaway and the, the power play was five on three, we kept stuff to the outside. You know, I, I know at times it looked like they had odd man rushes, but we, we broke them up and kept shots to the outside. And he's done a real good job of taking care of, of the crease. He's not giving the rebounds to create the havoc. He's done a real good job of managing the pucks that come at him <clears throat> and I, I think he has a lot of confidence right now and I think he uh, he's got a very good defensive core six guys that 
pretty good players in front of them. And we play a certain system that allows some uh, allows our goalie to anticipate the game because you know it's the way we play, we allow shots from certain areas, and he knows that, and he knows what uh, he has, what he's responsible for, and what is what the defensemen are responsible for. I think that makes it easier. Uh, you know, when I coached the NHL, like Marty Brodeur, I think he was an excellent goalie because he was very skilled, but he knew exactly what where shots were going to come from. He knew what he was responsible for. And when you have that as a goaltender, if the game's not helter skelter, if the game's helter skelter, it's tough. But if you're like, okay, here's the situation. I know what my team is going to do. This is what I have to do. Boom, you, you take care of it. And I think that's part of it right now for him. How much of this early season success would you attribute to Marty's play? Considerable, because uh, you know, there's been games, obviously, the last weekend, and uh, he, he's helped us when the momentum swings of making big saves. He's made big saves at, at big times. And uh, he made a lot of saves. And there's been no freebie. Last year we'd give up some freebie goals. There's no freebies anymore. And both goaltenders, both have been excellent. Best start in program history. Do you guys wear you pretty grounded in that? Or? I, I, I keep, do we keep getting that question? I don't think those guys care. Uh, I think they're very proud of what they're doing, but they're uh, very conscious of, you know, they, it's in March. Where are we going to be in March? And what do we do in March? And obviously, this is, these wins are great because it sets us up to be able to to get to you know certain levels, certain games later in the year. But you know, it's it's very businesslike right now. Even after beating Providence, those are big wins. But it wasn't like we just won a championship. If we won a game, uh, we can be better. And we quickly uh, refocus now on Princeton, who's going to be a very good team. And it's big, I'm excited for that challenge because they're a good offensive team. And I'm I'm a little worried about us defensively. Uh, without the puck, I think we, we, we rely a little too much on our offense and our good goaltending. And it's led us to be a little, uh, a little lazy about the puck. So. Uh, well, we're going to continue to focus this week on our play without the puck and have a very good Princeton team who's going to come in here. And, uh, if we're not good, they're going to score goals. Yeah, so how they break it all? Or? Not much, no. Tomorrow. Anything more for Coach? Like Carl. Jack, like the question in the third period, the really a factor and the excitement was amazing. Third period? Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought, like, again, the, the last four minutes of the second and third period, I thought we were, we were very good. We just got we got heavier on the puck. We got better with the puck on our stick and got to the net. We we, we played more the way I, you know, I wanted us to play for 60 minutes. But that's was solid first, solid third, a little scrambling in the second. And, uh, again, we we outshot our opponent. So it's, everybody would be happy to um, yeah, I think we had a pretty good day. I'm not sure where we ended up uh, being, but I thought we moved the puck around really well. Um, got the puck back when we had an opportunity and ended up being a pretty good game. That makes it 11 for you on the season on the power play. Uh, when, you, when you see that unit going out there, are you just more comfortable out there with that group? Um, I, th I, I think we play off each other very well. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I've been fortunate to maybe get some points there, but I mean, we all want to score goals, and it's been working for us. John, another fast start tonight. Just what do you think is, is fueling that that growth uh, period? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just something that we've talked about, um, you know, before games. And the mentality we have going into games is we want to get that first goal and get off to a good start. So I think that's just what we tried to do tonight, and you know, we did a good job of it. On, on your uh, assist there on the, on the breakaway, um, did you feel like that was an important goal to kind of quell UNH's momentum there in the second period? Yeah, I think they came back in the second period with a little bit of a pushback, and you know I think that you know we kind of answered well there, and we were fortunate enough to get that bounce, and you know we just kept going and building off of that. So, what do you think changed the most in that second period as far as UNH's game? Uh, I think they just came out a little harder to start that second period, and. Um, you know, I think we kind of were a little bit relaxed uh, heading into that second, which you know we can't be doing uh, no matter what the score was in the first. So we just got to be better um, situations like that and coming out harder.